بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, After we've learned uh, the structure of the heart the internal and external structure now it's turn to uh, learn about the cardiac activity First of all let us watch this video and listen carefully Okay, from what we notice here in this video that uh, the heart pumps, contracts and relaxes in a cert or certain uh, rhythm and this is very clear when we listen to the voice of the heart by the stethoscope uh, for example. Okay, as we notice from the voice of the sound of the heart pumping that it makes a certain rhythm or a music if you want. Okay. Now this rhythm is due to what we call the cardiac cycle or the cardiac activity. Today we're going to learn about what is the cardiac activity, what is made of, what are its phases, etc. First of all, as usual, we're going to first of all we're going to uh, put our books in front of us and uh, follow with the uh, uh, probing the activity questions so we stopped last time at number three now we're going to start with number four part a we will refer to the document found in our book document g we have here the three phases of a cardiac cycle okay so Part A, describe the pathway of blood flow inside the heart and the role played by the valves during each phase of the cardiac cycle. So we're going to look at the document and describe the pathway of blood first and where does the blood move and uh, the role played by the valves. What do the valves do in each phase? So let's look at this diagram. We'll start as they numbered them by phase one, which is called auricular systole. Now, if we go here, we will see, see that systole means contraction and diastole means relaxation. And since the, muscle, the heart is made of a muscle, so we know that the heart, the muscle uh, of the heart either contracts or relaxes. We'll start with the auricular systole. We see if we follow the, the direction of the arrow, we see that the blood, uh, first uh, the, the auricles are contracting, as they said here. Okay, and the blood flows from the auricles to the ventricles. So, uh, of course, it happens simultaneously. Simultaneously means at the same time. So, the blood flows from the auricles to the ventricles, from the right auricle to the right ventricle, and from the left, left auricle to the left ventricle at the same time. Now, if we want to talk about the valves, look here. This is the tricuspid valve. This is the bicuspid valve. They are open, obviously, to allow the passage of blood but the sigmoid valves are closed okay so this is the auricular systole let's go now to the ventricular system during the ventricular systole first thing happens is that the uh, the all the valves close then the sigmoid valve close uh, open okay so the tricuspid the bicuspid valve close the sigmoid valves will open when the ventricles contract, the muscle of the ventricle now contracts and it pushes the blood from the ventricles to the arteries. So as we learned in the previous uh, video, that the, vent the right ventricle, since it is connected to the pulmonary artery, it pushes the blood to the pulmonary artery, while the left ventricle pushes the blood uh, to the aorta. So in this case, as we said, the sigmoid valves are opened and the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are closed okay why do the tricuspid and bicuspid valve close because imagine now the heart is is contracting here and it pushes the blood if the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open the blood will go back to the auricles and we learned that the valves prevent the back flow so valves do not allow the blood to to uh, flow backwards okay now let's go to the third phase which is general diastole now this uh, word is diastole it's not systole and as we said here in the key diastole means relaxation general means all the heart the auricles and ventricles the auricles and ventricles all relax they do not contract and in this phase the blood coming through the veins okay so blood coming through the vena cava the superior and inferior vena cava fill up the auricles 
and the blood coming from the pulmonary veins fill up the uh, left auricle and the uh, tricuspid and bicuspid valves are opened, the blood flows slowly from the auricles to the ventricles. So the blood starts to fill in, but slowly, without pressure. Okay, well, if you look at the auricular systole, there's a pressure. The, the blood is pushed into the ventricles. Here, no. The blood flows real slowly from the auricles to the ventricles. So the sigmoid valves are closed. The tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open. So the answer is, as we said, all these details, what happens to, uh, during each phase. You will pause the video for a moment and uh, copy these on your copybook. Now let's go to part B. Formulate a hypothesis concerning the two different colors used for blood inside the heart. Let's go back to the document. As we see here, we see that there are two colors of the blood. In the left side, there is a blue blood, if you want, or, and in the right side, there is red blood. Now, blue blood refers to the dark red blood, while the red blood here refers to the bright red blood. We want to formulate a hypothesis to say, to say why there is a difference in color. Let, let's look here. This blood here is dark red. It's, it's coming from where? Through the vena cava. It's coming from the organs. So obviously, because it's coming from the organs, it is poor in oxygen gas, so its color will be dark red. While here, the blood coming through the pulmonary vein, it's coming from the lungs, and it has made exchange of gas, and now it's rich in O2, so its color will be bright red. So here, the hypothesis is blood coming from the organs is dark red, while blood coming from the lungs is bright red. Okay? Now, find the total duration of the cardiac cycle. Let's go again back to the document. Look here at the duration or the time. The first phase, auricular systole, they said here that it is 0.1 second. The ventricular systole is 0.3 second. The general diastole is 0.4 second. How do we find the complete duration or the total duration of the whole cardiac cycle? Obviously, total means sum. So we have to sum them up to get the total duration. The total duration equals 0.1 plus 0.3 plus 0.4 equals 0.8 second. Now, just notice this teacher. If we sum up the stall only, we have 0.1 second and 0.3 second. They give 0.4 seconds, which is equal to the diastole. So we can notice the equilibrium in our body or the balance where the heart muscle contracts and relaxes for the same for equal times. It doesn't contract more than it relaxes or it shouldn't contract more than it relaxes. Okay, to, uh, to maintain the heart muscle healthy. Let's review the uh, phases of the cardiac cycle. So in the auricular systole, the first phase, auricles contract, blood is pushed from auricles into ventricles, tricuspid and bicuspid valves are opened, sigmoid valves are closed. As we see here, blood is pushed from auricles to ventricles, but it, the blood can't enter to the arteries because the sigmoid valves are closed. The ventricular systole, the ventricles now contract, blood is pushed from the ventricles into the arteries. As we see here, the ventricles contract, pushing the blood into the arteries. Now the sigmoid valves are opened, obviously, and the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are closed. The last phase is general diastole. There is no contraction, there is a relaxation. The tricuspid valves and bicuspid valves are opened. The blood flows slowly from auricles ventricles uh, and it takes 0.4 seconds just here if we want to uh, take a note it doesn't have we don't have always to start with auricular systole since it is a cycle uh, we can start from any phase as long as we end with this phase for example if you see this diagram they considered the general diastole the first phase so it doesn't matter from where do we start as long as we end in the same phase okay it's a cycle Let's see uh, this animation now.
ventricular contraction causes the atrioventricular valves to close, which signals the beginning of ventricular systole. The semilunar valves were closed during the previous diastole and remain closed during this period. Continued ventricular contraction increases pressure in the ventricles above the pressure in the aorta and pulmonary trunk, causing the semilunar valves to open. When the ventricles relax and their pressures drop, blood flowing back toward the relaxed ventricles causes the semilunar valves to close, which is the beginning of ventricular diastole. Note that the atrioventricular valves remain closed. When the pressure in the ventricles becomes lower than the pressure in the atria, the atrioventricular valves open and blood flows into the relaxed ventricles. This accounts for most of the ventricular filling. The atria then contract and complete the ventricular filling.